actually was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, and I uh, lived in Nashville for eight years. And we've had some chart success and some uh, Billboard Heat Seeker success with my debut album. And I've got the opportunity to meet quite a few people. Uh, here in the last two years, I moved out to St. Louis, Missouri. Got a family now. And I happened to meet Mark Rogers, who introduced me to JT Cornfloss, who's the ACM guitarist of the year. Sat down and wrote a song just before I moved from Nashville, Tennessee to St. Louis uh, called Same Hometown, which kind of had a Heartland theme to it. I didn't even realize it when I wrote it. I wrote it with a buddy of mine named Daryl Burgess. And uh, little did I know at that time, that song would actually be the song that brought this Heartland rock and roll country session together. We're calling it the Indie Sessions. Uh, being out here in Indianapolis at the Static Shack, working with the legendary Larry Crane from John Cougar Mellencamp's original band that played with him from 1976 to 1991. So what I really believe is happening here is having JT Cornfloss, Larry Crane, Mellencamp's current drummer and bass player. We've really been able to tap into a sound. Uh, it's often been said that I had a different singing voice, a real distinct sound. And I think what we've been searching for this whole time was a distinct sound in the music, and I think we've created that. So I think the best is yet to come. Heartland Country Rock and Roll is, is actually being launched right now as we speak. Could not be more excited about this music. It all started with Same Hometown. We look forward to bringing Same Hometown to your town. While they're still around Yeah, you and me might be From the same hometown same old town. Well, you know, growing up in Indiana, and then, but I moved <clears throat> away from Indiana in 82, and that was right about the time that uh, John Mellencamp had, had started to explode, and uh, I was sort of aware of them living and growing up in Indiana, but, uh, so I was uh, a fan of that music, and certainly a fan of Larry Crane's guitar playing, and uh, was always, uh, you know, like I said, just a big fan of that, and uh, and uh, but uh, and I would say, you know, listening to a lot of that music and possibly even being from the same, uh, you know, area, <clears throat> there, I felt maybe there were a few similarities in, in the way we approached some things. And uh, the way me and JT got together was uh, uh, we had a mutual friend named Bill Edwards, and it was kind of Bill's a real musical guy, and he wanted to. That was kind of his dream is to get me and JT in session together, you know, doing a project. I kept looking around for a little project that maybe we could work together and, and play guitars on. I thought that would be fun. JT had called me and said, hey, I've got this, this guy that's real good, songwriter, singer, and I um, uh, want to do a project. And originally they called, they wanted me to come to Nashville. So I thought, well, you know, it'd be nice to have JT come up here and then have Matt come over from St. Louis, so we kind of meet in the middle. And uh, really, uh, myself and Alan Johnson are a production team, and, and uh, any work that we can do that's going to end up in Nashville, uh, we like to do it because we'd like to become a, a production team. You know, people come looking for uh, our sound. I think his, his voice got raspy, you know, low, low voice, and uh, I, I think it, it just so happens, I mean, you know, a lucky accident, that, that that voice really sounds good across what we do, which I guess we're calling it sort of the Heartland Rock sound, and I, I think it's a, it's a good combination. I think, uh, I'm real excited about it. You know, of course, immediately when you, you hear his songs or you hear his, his, his music, his, uh, his voice and the way he takes a song, it's, it's really, uh, you know, he turns it into his own thing. Instant sincerity in his voice when he's, he's singing. But, um, you know, and there's, a, there's an honesty there, I think, where if he's singing the song, you feel like he's actually living it. You know, it's actually his, his story, uh, whether it is or not, you know, you, you feel like it is when he's, he's doing the song. And, uh, 
you know, and that's that's what I always look for in music, whether I'm playing it or listening to it. So uh, that, I think that was the thing that, that drew me to his voice and his music and uh, made me want to, to be involved and, and working with him on it. Same home.